Hi, Jenny here. Tonight for dinner, believe it or not, I made another quick and easy dish. This one also has easy in the name of it. It is the easy chicken and pasta dinner. So let's get started. For this recipe, we will need one tablespoon of oil, two cups of corkscrew pasta, one can of cream of mushroom soup, half a teaspoon of basil, some Parmesan cheese to sprinkle on top if you'd like, two cups of a mixed vegetable. Um, the only stuff I could find today was in one cup bags. Of course, everything is steamable ready instead of normally used to just <laughs> in the old days. We would just throw it in a um, microwavable dish and cook them. But um, so a broccoli, cauliflower, carrot type mixture, and then one pound of chicken. We are going to start by putting some oil in the pan and then I'm going to cut up the chicken into bite-sized pieces. I'll put that in the pan and then we'll cook it up. I bought the tenders just because they're easier to cut up and faster to cook. You can You can do whatever type of chicken that you'd like. You can do the regular chicken breasts. If I would have chicken already good to go in the, from the crock pot, I would have used that. But we ate all that already, so we will just cut and cook some more chicken. This is pretty much a one pot dish. So we're going to cook the chicken until it's done and then set it aside and then we'll start adding the other ingredients. So you can see I'll take some of the bigger pieces and I'll try to cut them in half with the spatula to make sure that they're no longer pink inside. So once you see that, once you cut it up, cut it open where the cut part is, that that's all cooked, then your pieces should be cooked. And I said we're going to take that off and set it aside. Now we're going to add our soup and water and vegetables. This is still popping. Woo. All right, so we have our cream of mushroom soup. That's getting up nicely. Wow. Yeah. Do you want 
quarter cups of water. And then each one of these packages said that it was one. Oh, I guess I didn't read. Serving size is one cup. All right, so we're going to um, measure out two cups of vegetables. Now that I went and opened both bags. <laughs> Reading is overrated. <laughs> All right, so pretty much whee, one bag of vegetables. Because there's not much in there. And then our half a teaspoon of basil. We're going to cook this until it boils. Once the dish is boiling, then we're going to add our two cups of pasta. going to cook that for 10 minutes. Daughter's boyfriend left us some chocolate chip cookie liqueur. He came up to visit for a while and then he went back home, brought over this stuff because my daughter didn't like it. So that well, we'll try it. So uh, it's a liqueur. So I'm thinking that, oh yeah, pasta is done. Um, I'm thinking I might have to put some cream in here. So I usually do like Kahlua and cream, amaretto and cream. added some cream to that one. Woo! <laughs> All right, timer beeped. Our 10 minutes is up. Pasta's looking pretty well done. So we're gonna add our chicken back in and then just heat this up for a couple more minutes to get the chicken heated through. Looks delicious. All right, we will plate some of this up and sprinkle some cheese on top. Dinner is ready. One of the nice easy things about these types of recipes, um, this one, as other ones I've made too, uh, they are a versatile type of recipe. So again, with this one, um, if you need it faster, you can obviously buy store-bought chicken that's already in the small pieces, probably even already cooked, and you can use that. So then it's a matter of just heating everything up. Um, the vegetables, like we use frozen vegetables today, I did that to make it go a little quicker. Otherwise, usually I prefer fresh vegetables, and I like to cut them up myself and and do it that way. But when you're in a you know in a hurry, in a pinch, there you go. You got a quick dinner. So, I don't know, how is it by you guys? It's been hot here. It's been in the 90s, like the last weekish or so. Today finally was in the 70s, but even still, we haven't had rain in weeks. Our grass is browning. I've actually even had to have <laughs> tiger lilies in my garden because I don't like to take care of the garden so much that so it takes care of itself, but it hasn't rained, so the leaves are turning yellow out there and all that. So I've had to water those with my cute little picture of watering the garden. So I've had water. How about you? Is it hot where you are? Have you had to go outside and water your plants and flowers? Now keep them going. Keep them. The grass, well, I can water the grass too. I usually do, but we'll see if I get around to that. Yeah, and of course, you got my drink here that I had. 
Let's see. Oh. I added some milk to it. Of course, my ice cubes have melted. <laughs> Let's see how that tastes now, if it's better. A little bit better. A little different. It's a little different than my usual, obviously. The Kahlua and Cream or the Amaretto. Not bad. But better with the milk. Cuts, <laughs> cuts that <laughs> liqueur taste a little bit. <laughs> kind of really like hit me right away. Wow. Alrighty then. I'm going to enjoy my dinner. You guys keep it positive and go make it a great day. Bye bye. Mm. Very good. I'm looking forward to eating that.